Hello, uh, my name is uh, Yimon A, and through this uh, short video, I'm really excited to contribute to the ICBS uh, as part of uh, the Global Lectureship Award uh, by highlighting uh, some of our science actions uh, that really keep uh, myself and my team uh, busy. A major research program that we launched just as I began my independent uh, career uh, targets a nuanced mode of cell communication and decision making, which we term as uh, precision electrophile uh, signaling. So against uh, trillions of uh, cells uh, in our body, uh, we also have tons of reactive small molecule chemical uh, signals that are also produced by these same cells as we speak. Since more than 60 years ago, um, these uh, reactive chemical signals uh, have been appreciated uh, to play pathophysiological roles. Uh, effectively, they are um, regarded as uh, active players in cell decision making. But in reality, really, um, how at the molecular and uh, cellular level these individual reactive chemical signals engage with specific biomolecular targets and how these engagements uh, rewire uh, decision making at the cellular and animal model really uh, remains uh, unknown. And this is a major um, thorny research problem uh, because uh, uh, the conventional methods uh, to uh, address these questions uh, are plagued by the lack of specificity against the huge reactivity and toxicity surrounding these uh, chemical uh, signals, especially uh, in the absence of uh, controllable means to probe and perturb uh, their physiological impacts. My laboratory uh, decided to take a non-conventional approach uh, by asking a series of unique uh, questions. Obviously, these uh, chemical signals are produced inside the cells with a specific uh, time and space uh, control. So could we actually mimic how nature builds up these reactive signals uh, in the context of the live cells with space and time control, uh, but uh, with a user programmable uh, approach? This motivation really led us to found uh, this unique concept of precision localized electrophile delivery. And if I were to draw an analogy, uh, this is as if we are to um, send a letter using a zip code uh, or a postcode such that the letter can get to the right location and at the right time. So we built a unique sets of chemical biology tools to achieve uh, such a goal. I'm currently applying one of the REX technology developed by our lab, uh, which is called DUREX technology, in a model system uh, called C. elegans, which is a nematode. We are studying how the brain works at individual protein level um, in response to a chemical perturbation that we are able to introduce in a controlled manner within the animal model. This is very exciting because uh, currently out there, there's no other techniques which is able uh, to introduce a chemical perturbation with such precision in a live animal model. My projects leverage the Brex technologies to identify functional electrophile sensor proteins at different subcellular locales. Emerging proximity mapping and spatial omics um, technologies have allowed us to identify the proteins at these locales. But the field faces a huge technological gap to ID the functions of such uh, localized proteins. We adapted our REX technologies to fill this gap in a method that was published in PNAS earlier this year. The paper shows for the first time a proximity mapping approach that can be guided by functionally relevant drug-like chemical signals. And last but not least, uh, I really would like to thank uh, the ICPS uh, for this uh, great uh, honor. Uh, it really actually came as a rather unexpected news and my laboratory and I feel hugely humbled to receive it. And we hope to be able to springboard uh, on this uh, prestigious recognition and uh, really uh, to be able to aspire to the next level of uh, contributions. Thank you very much. <laughs>